a crash course for our new viewers for when we find the hyena den. You see that optimism there? You see that, Craig? When we find the hyena den. We've got some key players, females and their offspring on the left and the males on the right. So we start off, and I know I've left off some of their offspring. So before anybody shouts at me, I, I'm aware of that. I'm going with the ones actually in my time here at Wild Earth that I've come to know, and the ones that we're still likely to see given their age. So we've got Madam, who is the matriarch. Madam is, I, she's bulky. She's a big, bulky hyena. She's not all that tall, but she is very, very muscly. She's got quite a high concentration of spots and quite tatty ears. She's got notches on her ears that make it very clear. And now, from what I've seen of the clip of her with Tristan, she's got quite a droopy lip now. She's obviously had it stretched or scarred. Every single female that I'm gonna cover now has, during the course of their lives and the number of cubs that they have had, have basically herniated their bellies and through gorging themselves so the muscle wall has split open which is why they always look saggy and pregnant even if they aren't so any female that you see out here they're all relatively old not old but they're all sort of over five years old and they've had several litters of cubs and that tends to happen especially with the reproductive difficulties that spotted hyena have due to their anatomy which we'll go into in a little bit right so when i first started working here Bella was still a cub and was hanging out at the Philemon's Cutline Den. Bella is a male. And then we had the birth of Jan and Rary. Jan 1 and Jan 2 is what I've gone with. One female and one male. That is early 2016, just to give you an idea of the ages. From what we understand of the lines, so remember how hyena clans aren't necessarily all related to each other. Not all of the females are related. It's not like a lion pride. We know that Pretty is Madam's daughter, making her probably the second in command in this hyena clan. Essentially, she's very high up on the hierarchy. And Pretty ha gave birth to November, whose date I forgot to put in, November of 2015. Sorry, that's not very clear. So November 2015, November is a boy. I haven't seen him in a long time. November was one of my favorites because the one time they all started contact calling around the den site and little November started going, ooh, ooh, ooh. It's like this big. It was so cute. Okay, next in line is Corky. Now, Corky, I always thought was Madam's, another one of Madam's daughters because she, the way that she interacted, she seemed to be quite high ranking as well. And she was there at the attack on... Was she there actually at the attack on Gwen? We've definitely seen her enforcing clan hierarchy before. I know Pretty was there. I can't remember if Corky was there. It was a bit of a chaotic sighting, but I had a sighting where Gwen was attacked by the higher ranking members. Corky's not related to Madam or Pretty, at least not directly. She's not a daughter of Madam. So she, I've put her in a different color just to try and avoid confusion. Then I had a momentary brain freeze and wrote the wrong cub. D1 and D2, um, twins, December, born in the sort of late 2015, hence the name December 1, December 2, female and male. Scarback and Gwen, I've, both, I've put them both in green just because they are slightly lower down in the food chain from what I can tell. I don't know if they're related to each other or not. Uh, I'm not sure. If you do know, correct me, those of you who've sort of specialized in our various hyenas, let me know if you think they are related. You've been watching for longer. You've got access to some of the pictures from further back. But I, I, I'm not sure. And then she had, when I first started working here in mid-2015, mid June was just a few weeks old, and June's a little female. Haven't seen June in a long time either. I don't know where June is. Gwen, the bottom. <laughs> right at the bottom of the food chain. Poor Gwen. I know Gwen's had other offspring. I'm sure Madam has as well. I'm sure Pretty has. Um, but Gwen had cubs when I first started working here, Heart and Soul. They have been seen, Heart's been seen recently, and I'm pretty sure Soul has as well. And then question mark and question mark, the two skittish little cubs, who I don't think we can call them question marks, but they were born in mid-2016. So there you go. Now you, what you'll notice is that we've got a lot of either solitary female cubs or two groups of two that are a male and a female. 
And that comes again into what we were speaking about, about the hierarchy and the possibility of suicide. We won't ever know because we don't look into the dens itself. I got a question from, and I'm sorry, Rebecca, I've forgotten who it's from, um, about whether or not... Marianne. Marianne wants to know whether or not the females will t treat male and female cubs separately or differently. No, not really, but they don't interfere in the... Um, the scuffles between them. They just let it play out. So what that means is that when the females um, come in to suckle, they'll often push their male sibling away. They'll bite them, they'll bully them, they'll scar them. So that often happens and the mother does not interfere in any way. However, whether it's a female cub or a male cub, if she finds, if it starts emitting distress calls because it's being nibbled or bitten too hard, mom will immediately step up and go in to protect it. So it doesn't matter then if it's a male or a female. Same again, she will drag bits of carcass back to the den. Only hyena that are higher ranking tend to do that, um, although I'm sure there are exceptions to the rule. But generally, low ranking females take their cubs to kills. High ranking females bring bits of kill back towards the den site, despite what the textbooks say. And then again, she will let, let both of them feed on it, but generally the female will be the first to approach slightly bolder in nature. Um... What was I going to say? Oh, yes, the males. I've only put the four males that I think we see regularly. Correct me if I'm wrong. Comet, Ribbon, Cornball, and Saka are the ones that I think we regularly see. So I've left off Teddy. I've left off Napandula because, again, I'm not sure that we know they're alive. Tripod, not sure that we know that they're alive or that they haven't dispersed off into other areas. So there you go. That is a crash course for those of you that are curious about hyenas because I know how confusing it will get. It will make a lot more sense when we actually see them around the den site. When? When we see them around a den site. And you'll be able to see the interactions. The reason we gave them names is because it started to get very confusing. It is still a bit confusing, admittedly. We've got June, we've got December 1 and 2, we've got November. We're going to have to start getting slightly more <laughs> imaginative in terms of naming the various ones because now Gwen's two question marks that are two very skittish cubs they're both born in june but two, 2016 not 2015. Phew. And oh, that is the abridged version of our hyena clan something that our two little le leopard cubs have had to learn to deal with during their short life let's go and see what else they're learning today <laughs> 